Hi students, uh, welcome to my video lectures. I am Dr. Surendra, Assistant Professor in the Department of Chemical, Pandit Dindal Energy University. And uh, I am planning to organize one more, I mean, lecture series on uh, process plant operator training and on a simulating platform. And uh, before we go to that, let me give you a glimpse of what we are going to do in the next lectures. If you go to any industry and uh, and see uh, and a, an engineer sitting in, plant for, in front of the computer screen trying to see the entire plant and a, on a graphic window and try to operate the things using some mouse clicks. That is called the distributed control systems and normally it's a kind of SCADA kind of, pro, uh, I mean, kind of uh, uh, environment they use to control the entire plant. So similar kind of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Controlling the plant can be done using a simulating platform, and we have bought I mean, a simulating platform from the Sim Info Systems, and uh, and we thought and we are trying to uh, organize a training program for the students. I mean, especially the students in the BDPU, and uh, that's called uh, that's why the name is called uh, the plant operating training on a simulated platform. And what makes us uh, to start this kind of uh, lecture series is you see. Uh, the demands for the budding engineer is keeps growing because today we talk about the artificial intelligence robotics machine learning and uh, high concepts we are trying and the, in this modernizing era the requirements for the industry were keep rising okay so it becomes a burden for the faculties also to train the students because uh, traditional concepts uh, may, might not help you in fetching a job in the future. So in order to make the students employable and deployable, so we need to see the requirements of the industry. So we have to train our students according to that and make them employable as well as deployable as per the requirements of the industry. So that is what the motive behind and uh, training the students in this kind of uh, simulating environment. So for the students of the PDPU, they have they will, will get the opportunity to get a hands-on on this kind of simulator platform where they can able to learn many things. And let me show you the glimpse of how it looks like. And one more important thing is this is for the students and those who already finished a process control subject in their third years or final years. They can able to understand it much better way. Okay, let me... Uh, take you through the tour of what we are going to learn in mining and lectures so this is what uh, the entire platform this is called process plant train operated tra simulator training and this is how the graphic window looks like the moment you open the software you're going to see and this kind of window if you observe this is the distillation column. You can see the number of things are involved with the distillation column. You can see there are pumps, feed pumps, reflex. I mean, you can see the reflex drums. You know, see the cooling to condense the overhead vapors. You can see the reboiler where the steam is pumping. I mean, into the jacket where it can able to. I mean, reboil. I mean, reboil the feed. And you can see there are many pumps and valves. And important thing is you can see the connected dots. I mean, it 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 gives us the indication. It's not a process line. It's a kind of control line. You can see these indicators, and you can see final control elements which are called valves where you can able to uh, control the level in the uh, level in the reboiler level in the reflex drum and there are some valves which has to operate it uh, uh, by manual intervention because everything we cannot leave it to the control systems so there are things which and uh, these are the simple things where you can able to see how you can able to increase the feed what happens to the distillation column how the pressure is getting affected because you brought some changes to the feed and what happens if you uh, decrease, the, I mean, increase the reflex ratio, is it going to affect this kind of purity? All these things you can play with your own hands. This is for the case of simple distillation column. And you can see you same I mean, simulating platform, you can use it for the CSTR. You can see the reactant A goes into the reactor and uh, which it is controlled through the ratio controllers because whenever you put something into the reactor it has to be some stoichiometric amounts suppose if you have operated some changes in a automatically the control action will take 
and let us say if you increase the A by this amount, automatically the controller will send a signal to the reactant B, the stoichiometrically amount of B is also mixed into the particular reactor. You can see the blue lines which is called coolant lines and uh, you can see it's a kind of uh, CSTRs in series. So what you have learned in the class, you can actually play the things in the kind of simulator environment. Let us go to the, uh, here the significance you can learn from the cyclone separator. Let us say you are putting in 25 grains per second uh, into the feed and what is the output from the overhead and what, are, what is the output from the bottoms. So what happens if you change the loading, what happens if you change the width of the cyclone and what height of the cyclone, exit di diameter of the cyclone, uh, you can able to see that how and you can see the dynamic, it's not like it will takes a huge amount of time to get the calculation, it's not, it's a kind of graphic window you can able to get and the calculations are so fast you can see the results. Similarly if you go to the split range controls. Uh, you can see at the moment this is a kind of a vessel that can that should uh, uh, control the pressure. Okay, what happens if you increase the bit amount of feed will increase the pressure inside the rear, inside this kind of chamber. What happens in such cases is called user split range pressure control. That, that means beyond if the pressure is there than the set point automatically it will trigger the second valve which will try to reduce the pressure inside the vessel. So all these things we can able to see here and simple on off level control system this is where we are, my next lecture will be on this on off control systems and how a controller is going to maintain the level in the tank what happens if i change my feed conditions what happens if i change my uh, controls and uh, let's at this present the 50 percent is maintained what happens if i wanted to maintain it to 60 percent what are the process parameters i have to work with so all these things can able to play with this kind of simulating environment and these are the different models that are available with us in future to train the students like on off system, temperature control and what is the effect of proportional control, what is the effect of PI control, PID control and level control, cascade control. Okay, These are the different things we can able to see once we go through the particular steps and let me okay these are the different kind of simulating environments we have got and finally um, i would like to thank uh, energy university for giving opportunity and uh, you can find the address below whenever you meant if you ever got a chance to visit the bdpu just come to the address and uh, we can show you the things that is there required and uh, you can see let's start uh, in the next video with the sample demo i mean how to operate a level control Thank you very much and uh, see you soon in my next video.